What's up everybody, Browncoat67 here today, and we be building a pirate ship, yar. Yeah, that was lame. What's not gonna be lame is this pirate ship build. So, I have the basic foundation down here and I wanna show you what we're gonna be building off of. So first, we're gonna start off with one single side. Now from this block here, all the way down to the end, this is 31 blocks long. I am currently, for that, using spruce planks, and then on the front side of the ship, we're going to go diagonally, four blocks, and the front is only going to be three blocks wide, okay? We're going to go diagonal again, make it symmetrical, and again, this side is going to be 31 blocks, just like the other side. Now down here you'll see that it only goes diagonal three times and the back of the ship is five blocks across on the on the far back whereas the front is only three. So it's gonna be a little bit different from the front side. When you're finished you should have something that looks like this. I am building mine against a beautiful beautiful coastal setting here. I mean it really doesn't get more scenic than this. Especially with this shader it looks flippin' epic. So let's get started. Now on the sides of the ship, it's actually not going to get much wider at all. This is pretty much going to be straight up from the sides. So this is right here at water level, and I'm thinking that to get to the main deck, we're probably going to want to go, what, four blocks up higher? One, two, three, four... So I'm going to take this and go one, two, three, all the way across. All right, cool. And now I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to position myself just high enough where I can put one block. But... That's it, just the one. And I'm just gonna take this and run slowly down. You don't wanna go too fast, because otherwise you miss blocks like that. All right, we're gonna do the same thing here on the other side. So you really can't go too fast. Alright, cool. So this is starting to look like it's going to be the sides of our ship. So down here we're going to go ahead and we're going to build these up and then out. Like this. That way you can see that the ship is starting to come outward in this direction here. And then we're going to add a block here. And we're going to come out basically kind of just like we did. It's starting to look pretty good. All right, so now we've got this lined up with the top. I'm going to go switch sides over here to the fronts. Gonna work on basically kind of like the same thing. We're gonna shape the front here. All 
right, so now you'll see here, as I got up towards the top of the front of the ship, I did break pattern. I am dropping from doing three on this layer to only one. And I'm going to continue doing this. Just like so. So now looking from above, we have that same basic shape that we had, but now we are working on three-dimensionalizing the ship. Now you'll notice you can see really well through the ocean down below. I'm not going to lie to you, I do have night vision on. Uh, we're going to be doing some building underneath the water, and night vision makes it so much easier to see. And I'm only slightly terrified of how realistic the water looks with this shader. It doesn't give me fears of getting eaten by sharks at all. Anyway. Alright, so now I'm going to start filling in down here because we are making this the level of the main deck. There we go. Now, one, two, three, four. Try to do this quickly. All right, and that is a mostly intact main deck. Got a couple holes we're gonna have to patch here. Now we're gonna come back to the back side here because I actually want this to uh, come up a little bit taller on the back. So I think right here. That's going to look pretty good right there. Let's do that from the other side as well. And I think one more there. There we go. All right, that's looking pretty good. And then I think we'll have this come out one more time, like so. Again, right over there, like that. Let that straight up. Alright, so that is way too far to the end of the ship here. Give me just a second. How far out do I want to bring that? I think again, maybe five more. I think that'll be good. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're still going to keep that same pattern that I had. Except for, oh man, I cannot build today. Alright. There we go. Perfect. It's going to be a lot better. There we go, and that'll be the captain's quarters inside there. I'm thinking, what, it'll be two rows for the stairs, and then the captain's quarters. And that's going to be like that. And the stairs will probably be built... that same thing over here all right which means that I can have walls coming like this and this is gonna be the ceiling there we go Awesome, everything's going to be looking pretty good, actually. I'm really excited for this. It's going to be looking awesome. I might actually bring out these one more. I think I want that to engulf that a little bit further. There we go. 
because when I switch the stairs, I want this to kind of be like side rail so we don't have any man overboard. The ship can be a little wavy. Uh, we don't need anybody falling off. There we go, perfect. Now let's fill in the rest of this floor over here. That's actually coming along nicely. This is starting to look really nice, everybody. All right, heading back over here toward the front of the ship. Right around here, we're going to actually add one more layer here. And I'll show you what's going on with this. This is actually going to be entirely across. Awesome. We're going to bring this one more out here on the sides. And then we're going to switch over and add stairs here. Awesome. Definitely looking good. I'm so excited. All right, heading up to the front of the ship here, we're going to add one here, like so. And then from here, I'm going to add upside down stairs like this. And then like that. No, oh, that looks terrible. I'm actually going to go grab the uh, spruce slabs as well. And then I think I'm going to bring it outward like that. I want it to raise up just a little bit. Do I like that? I think that's good right there. You'll always notice at the front of the ships that the uh, it's always pointed upward. It's got a slight upward slant and that the ship itself is going to bow out on both sides. Back here, obviously, we have a raised captain's cabin. Uh, but up here, you're still going to have a raised edgeward front of the ship. And now let's add some fences. As you can see, I'm using dark oak fences because I really want it to pop out from the spruce planks. Uh, spruce is already kind of slightly darker, so this will definitely let the fences be uh, distinct in how they look. I think, yeah, just drop it down like that. And we're going to take that and we're going to run it all the way to the back. Apparently I can't do that though. My building skills are not on par for this video. I apologize. You deserve better than this. looking pretty good uh, we are gonna go back though in the middle and we're gonna break three of these fences on both sides this would be the loading areas for the ship if it has to go into dock and it's looking pretty good looking pretty good but there's definitely some things that we need to add right so let's go and I'm thinking three blocks in front start here I'm gonna put down some stairs and these are dark oak there we go and now I'm gonna switch over to a spruce log and I'm gonna add a mass now how tall do I want this to be what is that one two three four five tall so far two. let's just bring this up pretty tall right how's that looking taller Taller, more. There, that's looking pretty good. And I think we're going to have to definitely do another one because you can't just have one mass. You need to have multiple if it's going to be a real pirate ship. I'm thinking, let's do what, seven spaces in between maybe? Or what is this? One, two, three, four. 
one, two, three, four. I could line it up like that. Sweet. Switching back over to the uh, spruce log. This one's going to be a little bit shorter, though. The front mast is not as tall, typically. That's too short. There, that's looking pretty sweet. All right, so now we're going to head up towards the top of the mast. Let's start with the taller one. I'm going to drop down, what, one, two, three, four... Four, five, let's do five. All right, and I'm gonna put a block there and then I'm gonna take the same logs and I'm gonna run them out sideways. Same thing over here. I ran those out 10 in either direction. Now, how far from the top was I here? One, two, three, four. So same thing from this one, I'm gonna go four down one two three four and i'm gonna put a block there so i have four blocks above and instead of being ten wide on this one i'm gonna do seven wide come over to this side do the same thing there we go that way it's smaller nice looking good so now I'm going to pull out my white concrete. This is what I'm going to be using for the sails here. And what I'm going to be doing is first, I'm just going to put one single line underneath the uh, horizontal beam that we have up here attached to the mast. This is what our sails hung from. And what the look is I'm going for is that the sail is tucked away right now. The ship is parked off the coast of some you know, Cliff Island here, they're out exploring, doing pirate things, burying treasure and whatnot. And uh, I want this to be tucked away. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to kind of do this rotating pattern here. There, perfect. And that right there looks like that the sail is just kind of tied up in a couple spots. Now let's do the same thing over here. There we go. This one is not quite wide enough to do the same pattern. So you'll see here in the middle that I just kind of combined the two rows. So now we have our sails up. Now let's go in and get a ladder. And I'm gonna go to the front beam, not the back beam, the front beam. And I'm gonna put this ladder up the back side of it so that the sail is not going to interfere. But I'm gonna build the crow's nest up top here. This is where your lookout would go, looking to see if they can find any land or trying to navigate along a coastline, stuff like that. Switch to the spruce planks. And actually, no. Let's do slabs. Let's make this a little bit more inconspicuous. It's looking pretty good so far and now I'm gonna take the stairs here and I'm gonna run them along like so all right and there we have our crow's nest for you to climb up and take a look around more than likely with the telescope looking glass I like it all right, before we get too much further ahead up here, we need to come down and finish the bottom. Right now, we just have this gaping hole at the bottom of our ship. So I'm at sea level here. I think I'm going to take this down one, two, three, probably four blocks deeper. 
I'm gonna kind of follow the same pattern that I was, actually. Like so. The only problem is I'm actually gonna start making it narrower here on the side as well. So now I'm gonna take this edge and I'm gonna run this all the way down. side. Alright, looking good. And right, now we're going to do the same exact thing. Except for I think on this one, I'm probably going to bring it forward like so. One more level. Start working in twos, get that slope a little bit sharper. When you're trying to make things appear round and you're working with the squares, you have to kind of start um, increasing and decreasing the slope. So that's starting to look pretty good. A little bit more. And now we're going to do that same thing. That's probably low enough right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the bottom here. All the way down. Same thing this way. And again this way. I'm going to drop back two from the edge, and I'm going to put one down just on the bottom for aesthetic if anybody comes to the bottom of the ship, and I'm going to add one more all the way down. But I'm going to block that. Again, two blocks away from the edge, like so. There, looking good. Now we need to add an entrance into the ship, so I'm going to break something right here, and I'm going to call this where our entrance is going to be. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a ladder. Here. But, as you can see, it's a little wet and cramped at the moment, so we're going to need to get some sponges. Alright, I'm going to take that sponge, and I think I'm probably going to replace the fence. Let me put the fence in my inventory in case I need it. Alright, sponges. Sponges ahoy! I add so many sponges. It's a spongeathon. Yay, sponges! So many water source blocks. Not enough time. Aha. Aha. I think I got it all. So now we're going to go and break all those sponges. And we got rid of all the water. Oh no, all the fishies died. Alright, looking a lot better. So, ladder. We're going to take this and we're going to take it all the way up. And then we're going to separate this into two separate floors. The first one is only going to be too tall. It's the bottom floor. It's going to be very dark down here. This is where the crew will sleep. There go. Get it in here.
one spot there. Then put floor and then fill in this last line here. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna take wood and we're gonna fill in this odd layer down here. pretty good. I think I'm also going to fill in this end down here. Don't really need that for any particular reason. And then this is all basically just going to be beds and chests down here. This is going to be where all the crew will sleep besides the captain. All right, now we're going to fill in the end down here a little bit. I'm going to make a storeroom while also hiding the front and back of the ships. We're going to utilize the space the best we can. Looking good. Alright, just like that. And then this is the back side of the ship. Uh, this one we really don't have as much space to utilize, so I am just going to seal this one off completely. looking good. Alright, so now I think we need to add some cannons. I mean, what is a pirate ship without cannons? So I'm thinking maybe from this second step down and where where was that? Like here and here? There we go. That looks like ground level. And then I'm going to skip to pop a cannon, skip to pop a cannon, skip to pop a cannon. And again and again and again, and again, and then should I leave that there, or should I put one more cannon in? That might interfere with that storehouse that I built, but I don't think it will. No, that's okay, I can do that. That's lined up there, okay. So starting off here on the same side, or on the opposite side, rather. I'm gonna go do that again on the other side. Perfect. And that's probably where that'll end. Yes. So definitely starting to look like a pirate ship. I mean, come on, look at this thing. All right. So I swapped out my gear. You'll see now that I'm going to be rocking dark oak stairs, dispenser, lever, button, spruce trap doors, and I still have white concrete. I grabbed the dark oak fence again. I still have spruce slabs and the ladders right now. I'm not sure exactly what I'll need, but for right now, I think I'm set. So these are going to be the basic starts of the cannons. Rock and roll. And now we're gonna swing along to the inside here. And we're going to drop down to the first deck. And I'm going to put these trap doors in the slots above the cannons. These are something that will basically be closed unless you're using the cannons. These are like cannon doors. Keeps the weather out, keeps the water out. have to squat really to see that. All right, go over here. Awesome. 
Okay, so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab what? Polished andesite, I think. And I'm going to swap that out for the dispensers. And I'm going to put these on the back side of the dispensers. So these will be like the back of the cannon. Same thing over here on the other side. Alright, and then the stone buttons are going to go on the back side. Those will be how we fire the cannons. Apparently I'm just going to throw things around because I'm a child. <laughs> Alright, heading over here to the other side. Awesome, looking good. And now we're going to add these levers up here next to the cannons. And this is how we're going to open and close the shutters. All right, same thing over here. Awesome. So this is actually really cool. Uh, one of my favorite things to shoot out of the cannon, let me get it for you, It's fire charges. Uh, but they will catch ships on fire uh, and, and burn them down. So definitely something to, to bear in mind ah! when you're shooting them. But they're super fun to shoot. Nice. Now I want to add a little bit of... Uh, kind of like some molding around the room. I'm going to use these dark oak stairs. It's getting kind of monotonous with all these spruce planks that I have around, so I'm going to try and spruce things up. <laughs> Please don't hate me. You're looking good. I like it. I like these cannons, too. Awesome. And then we're going to have to add a room, uh, a door here, but this is what's called the dry room. This is where you're going to put all your food and your gunpowder, things like that. Things that you don't want to get wet. Right? Anything that you want protected, you're going to want that in here. So let me grab some chests and grab some barrels. Make it look like it's stocked up, right? And a chest right here. Awesome. Now let's come in here and grab a door. I'm going to stick with the spruce theme here. Everything is going to be awesome. Now we're going to drop down. Now, like I said, this is just where people are going to be sleeping. And we're going to have to get rid of the bats, I guess. Let me get some beds. What color beds do pirates sleep in? I'm going to go with black beds. Seems right. And then... Let me get rid of the buttons. I don't think I need the buttons anymore. And I'm just leaving a couple spaces in between the beds. You know what I mean? You don't need to be sleeping all up on top of each other. Dang, bats are getting in the way. Perfect. And now we'll give everybody a chest to keep their stuff in. You know, pirates got stuff. Right? Isn't that the whole point? Yar, be finding treasure in booty. Grr. Need a place to store it. And then maybe down here at the end, I put a chest here. And now I'm going to trade sides. There we go. There we go, that looks pretty good. Now I think I am gonna add some support beams down here. I feel like there's probably gonna be some beams. So let me grab those uh, spruce logs that I had earlier. And I'm gonna get rid of the beds. And let me add that, yeah, here. Just a support beam, maybe another one here. 
maybe one more down here towards the end, huh? Good. We're gonna add some chests too. Storage, you know, probably where they keep like the cannonballs. We need quick access to cannonballs. Alright, back up here on the main deck. And you can already see that the ship is looking really good. Really good. Now, I did not want to put the crow's nest up here on the top because this one is where I'm going to have the... The flag of a pirate's ship. I want that to come up. Probably three tall here. Ah. There. And I am going to bring that out. Ooh, not in the front. To the sides. Like so. So let's make our Johnny Roger. Let me go to my survival inventory, and I'm going to pop out a couple things. Um, geez, I don't know. Ladder? Don't need a ladder. Uh, I'm probably gonna need everything except for that. I'm gonna need my loom. I'm gonna need my black uh, banner, and I think the die is okay in the inventory there. But let me put the, the loom down. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this banner up here with the white die and I've got a skull charge and what this is going to do is it's gonna make a Jolly Roger a pirate flag it's super simple to do and now I'm gonna come back up here I'm gonna hang it There we go. There's going to be no mistaking that this is a pirate ship. Alright, so I like symmetry, so I'm going to break one more fence on both sides just because it's bugging me uh, compared to the cannon slots down below. Alright, so there is one more thing I want to do. On um, both sides, right here towards the middle, I'm going to put a couple fences here. And you'll see why. Same thing down here. All right, then I'm going to get the grinding wheel and chains. All right, I'm going to take that grinding wheel. I'm going to put two of them up here. I'm going to put chains from the grinding wheel. Ah, it's not letting me shift in the water. There we go. That took way longer than necessary. And I'm going to add chains here as well. Go do the same thing on the other side. Where it actually just might be easier to put the chains on from the bottom. Yeah, I'm a genius. <laughs> now, if you are in uh, Bedrock Edition, you can tie a boat up with a lead to the fences that we have down here. Uh, but since we are in Java Edition, I cannot do that. All right, so now down here with the boat, you're going to go ahead and just put this down right here. Uh, it's going to kind of be like this is the uh, small craft that the pirate ships will have. Every big ship like this is going to have them. Because small craft can go towards shore if it's shallow, whereas a big ship can't. So as long as the squids leave the boat alone, you should be good. They don't really drift away like they used to anymore. All right, so now I'm going to head back over here to where the captain's quarters is. And I'm going to finish setting up this area, adding the fence. There we go. That looks pretty good. Captain gets a private door. And on the inside here, there's going to be actually... Just grab these spruce planks and I'm gonna kind of tidy up this back end here a little bit I don't want it to be all obvious um, that this is the end of the ship same thing with the sides over here with the stairs I am going to bring this out like so there we go now I am going to add a couple windows. Probably 
we like that. That looks pretty good. And again with the dark oak stairs throughout most of it, I'm going to add it as uh, like a molding. Everyone likes some good trim work. looking pretty good captain's gonna have a table right over here so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down some regular blocks and then I'm going to add the dark oak stairs like so perfect there we go that is a good looking table I love doing that add a couple chairs around it Captain's going to need a bed, and I think I got rid of it. His bed is going to be much nicer. It's going to be a different color. So he's the captain. Going to have a couple chests over here. Captain's also going to keep all the guns and stuff in his uh, room. Can't trust the uh, crew with guns at sea for the most part. It's starting to look pretty good. Let's add this window. Now, you can do two things. You can add window panes. Or you can put fencing in like this. But I think I am going to do window panes. looks nice all right and there you have it everybody our pirate ship look at that look at that glorious woodwork all the details the cannons the shape it all looks nice oh yeah nice flags sails look good i like it i like it a lot all right if you like my ship let me know in the comment section below if there's anything else you want me to build also let me know i'm here for you i want to build some stuff and show you how this is browncoat67 and i'll catch you next time